Now that you have installed MySQL in your system, it's important for you to understand the most important SQL commands. Hi everyone, welcome to part 5 of our SQL series where we are going to explore the most commonly and most used SQL commands. So let's dive in. So the very first SQL command you must know is select command which is used to extract the data from a database. The second most important command is update command which is used to update the data in a database. The third most important command is delete command which, which is used to delete the data from a database. The next command is insert into which is used to insert new data into a database. The fifth command is create database command which is used to create a new database. Sixth command is alter database if you want to modify a database. The next important command is the create table command which is used to create a new table. If you want to modify a table you can, you know, you can directly make use of the alter table command. Next, if you want to delete uh, a table, you, you, can directly, uh, you can directly use the command which is drop table command. And next important command is the create index command which is used to create an index or the search key. The last command is the drop command which is used to delete an in index. So these are the important SQL commands you must know. Now let's implement each of these commands in MySQL and understand how these command works. So this is the interface of MySQL Workbench. Let's now implement each of the command that we just discussed. So first of all, we will create a database. So to create a database, we will make use of the create database command. So let's create a database, create database. And let's say my database name is shopdb. Okay. Now, if I just run this query and I do refresh all, you can see here that my a uh, new database has been created which is shop db over here in the left hand side in the left hand side here this is my new database that has been created now i want to use this database okay use shop db and in this database i want to create a table and to do to create a new table we have a command that is create table command so i'm just creating a table let's say my table name is orders create table and then in here we are going to write our the table name again here we are going to write our database database name so that's how it's going to work now in the table i will have to mention the columns columns uh what columns i want to i want to include in my table so first of all i want to write my order id and what would be the data type of it it would be int and it's going to be my primary key. okay next i want to include the customer name and it would be my varchar data type and let's say max character limit would be 100 next let next let me keep one more column which is next next the next column would be product name and here again the data type would be varchar and let's say i want to mention the quantity and here the data type would be int then price data type would be decimal and okay so this is okay so if i run this query okay so now if i just run this what i will see is my orders table uh, so as you can see here my orders table has been created if i do refresh all here so see here see here in the table section see my orders table has been created in the left side as you can see here this is my orders table okay so now uh, i have I have created the table. Now what I want to do is I want to insert my data into this table. So to do to insert your data into the table, you will be writing your insert into command. Insert into and where do you want to insert? You want to insert in your orders table. So in, insert into orders. And here you are going to mention your column names, which is your order ID. Next, uh, customer name. Customer name customer name then it then it is product name and then it is quantity next price okay so so these so these are your column names and now you want to insert the value so whatever the values that you want to insert over here is you will be writing it uh, using comma so order id let's say one the customer name is let's say Bobin. then the product name let's say it's going to be your laptop okay and the quantity that you have purchased is let's say three 
so that's how it's going to uh, so that and and the price that you have paid for it is like so one two zero 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 okay cool so i've inserted all the uh, what uh, how many i've inserted the the number of rows that i want to mention over here Okay, so so now if I just run this query, what I'll be getting is, uh, you will see that my rows is uh, my columns have been created, which is the order ID, the customer name, the product name, the quantity, and the price. So that that's how uh, you can use the insert into command. Let's now uh, so now your so now that you have your table along with the columns, so let's now extract the data from the table to extract the data from the table we are going to make use of the select command so select star from select star means we are going to extract all the all the data from the table so this is my table name orders table select star from order so if i just run this query what i got here is i have extracted all the rows that i just inserted here so whatever the data my table had it has displayed all the data here if i if I now if I want to see any specific column, for example, I only want to see order ID and I or only want to see the product name, order ID in the product name. So if I mention order ID, comma product name, then it will only show me the order ID and the product. But what if I want to see all the all the columns that I have in my table? To do that, I'll make use of star. Yeah, select star from order. Uh, from table name okay so that's how select command works in now so i'm just giving you an idea over here that how each command works you don't need to worry you don't need to worry if you're not understanding it at all just just take a look that how how the commands are actually uh, going and how the com how how do we write sql queries how do we write commands so that that's how it works now now the next command that i want to use here is for example i want to uh, delete any specific uh, records from my table so for example i want to delete the order id 3 let's say okay so how it works so i want to delete sorry 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 so i want to write here delete from so from where you want to delete from your orders table and what you want to delete here is where where order id order id is equals to 3 okay so what it will do is you so once you write a sql query you'll have to close it with the semicolon so if you close it to the semicolon then it, it won't throw an error so this is your second query that you have written now if you want to run this query and since it has been um, now uh, now you can see that it has deleted sorry it has deleted order id 1 but i want to delete the order id 3 okay now that that's how it works that it has deleted uh, so that's how the delete command works that it it can delete the specific record so it has it has deleted the order where order id is equals to 3 that means it has deleted this this one uh, so that means it has deleted here both 1 and 3 since for before i did 1 and then i did 3 so if if you see here only 4 and 5 so only two records are here since we had four records 1 and 3 have been deleted only two are uh, only two it's showing now Okay, so that's how it actually deletes and once you delete uh, once you delete there is no undo it will not be you cannot uh, take it back so that's how it works okay that's how so that's how the commands works i just wanted to get you a simple example a practice so that you can a uh, hands-on uh, visual idea of how how do we write sql commands how do we write sql queries however we are going to see each and everything in detail now uh, in in the upcoming videos if you want to uh, make use of the alter command, if, if you want to add a new column uh, in your table, in that case, you can simply write the alter command because this is something you are going to add. So alter table, then this is the orders table. Now, what is something that you want to add? You want to add, for example, this is a new column that you want to add, which is your bear care. Okay. So this is your new column. So that's how it works so let's see if it adds that if i just run this and just do a refresh all as you can see here the delivery status has been added so a new column has been added so that's how the alter command works what what does alter command does is it 
it has alter table command is actually modified the table structure if you even want to change the uh, data type of any any uh, any column you can do that using the alter command so that's how the alter command works now for example i want to rename a column so for example alter table orders and let's say i want to rename to customer orders i don't want to keep it as orders i want to rename this uh, column to customer orders so after running this doing a refresh you can see that my column has been renamed so you can see that my table has been renamed to customer orders over here so that that's how the alter command works if you want to drop the complete database you can simply directly write drop database and then the database name but that that's going to be very horrible you will not be able to take your database back there is no undo after doing a drop command so make sure that you use it very carefully so definitely we are going to make use of all these commands in in the upcoming videos that's that's only i wanted to uh, discuss and help you understand how how do we write sql queries how commands work uh, if you are not understanding uh, that that's not an issue we are going to cover each and everything in detail i just wanted to give you a heads up on how the commands function how how do you create a database how do you insert some values in a database how do you extract the data from a database how you alter a uh, column name in a in a or how do you alter the column name of any table so that that's how it works okay so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video guys uh, let's meet in the next video thank you for watching and if if you found the video helpful please like the video and share your comments also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you see you soon